Okay. So this is my carburetor Delorto and this is the automatic choke it goes in here and it works by heating and when it heats this pin protrudes and in block it blocks the additional flow of fuel so when it's cold there is additional flow of fuel and when it heats when the engine starts running 12 volts are applied here on those two pins and the choke heats up and after 5-6 minutes this pin extrudes around 1 cm or around 8 mm in my case so what's inside this? I've already opened it but I'll open it again this part unscrews from this one it's not a bit difficult I need I need to take fire you can see so this one unscrews and also this one here this is some kind of silicon but I already took it out take it out again okay, it needs to be The silicone removed. So let's unscrew this part. See inside how it goes. So this plate, this small element, stays between the two. It's called them electrodes and. When 12, 12 volts are applied, this one heats up. This is staying like this. So this one heat. Stays like this. So this one here heats up and also heats up ho this whole element here this whole element and when the element is heated up this starts going out this pushes there is some wax, wax inside I read which uh, expands when heated and uh, pushes out this pin pushes out the needle so that the additional flow of fuel is blocked. You can see here. 
here. This one goes out like this. So that's about it, about the automatic choke in the lower top carburetor. This one is 17.5, but it's probably older. Two stroke carburetors are the same. I don't know if it's feasible. The pin, the pin goes in here. I was thinking my carburetor is bad, but turns out nothing is wrong, it works okay. I'm sorry, my choke is bad, but the result is always fine. And I just kind of destroyed it. I mean, it works still, but the insulation is broken and also one plastic element. But anyway, let's put it back. So that's it, ciao.